Good getting internet. Today is the 21st. And I'm not exactly having a good day or good week or I'm not having a good um, so I didn't end up recording a video yesterday I'm was definitely not in the frame of mind yesterday to be able to say much of anything and heck I'm not even in much of a frame of mind today I didn't bring my selfie stick with me on my walk <clears throat> um <sighs> nice view behind me at least uh, and it's actually nice weather outside too it's what 20 ish degrees right now with a nice cool breeze overcast quite like the weather but so ah, this is really uncomfortable without my selfie stick now um what do I even want to say I'm having some problems, challenges, as it were. Uh, I'm stuck, is the problem. And I can feel my brain spiraling down and down and down and I go, and I can't stop it. Because I have to think about these things. It's kind of what I need to do. I can't really take too many more breaks on this, so... As you all know, I am planning on moving to Norway. Um, the plan was that I get married toward the end of summer slash beginning of fall, start submitting paperwork, wait until all of that's done, and then move sometime toward the end of next spring slash early summer. And... The pandemic has always been a wild card in this. Don't know if things were going to get worse, don't know when my partner was going to get vaccinated, don't know on the schedule or anything like that. And I've been getting agitated about it just because, well, um, I miss my partner. This is the longest period of time that we've been apart from each other since we've been seeing each other. Um... The previous longest time was one year, and it's looking like this is going to be significantly longer than one year, because one, I'm not allowed into the country of Norway right now because they have constantly tightening restrictions on who's allowed to enter the country. And while early on in the pandemic I was actually allowed to go to Norway, later on they decided, hmm. Yeah, remote, romantic partners of people who are Norwegian citizens aren't going to be allowed in if you come from outside of Europe. Why? Because the U.S. bad. Now, I will admit that my country's response to the pandemic has been horrible. Uh, it's hardly surprising. But for a good chunk of the more recent parts of the pandemic... The U.S. has actually had a lower infection rate than most of Europe. Um, in fact, some parts of Europe are actually worse than the worst parts of the U.S. The only way that you can get an in to make it look like the U.S. has a worse infection rate is to literally take the worst counties of the U.S. and only count that. Whereas, where I live, in here, so in the Dane County area, in the past week there have been 11 infections. For almost a half million people? Eleven. There's no community spread at that point. We're actually fine. Even though, um, what? Of the people who can be vaccinated, Dane County is at 80% um, partially or fully vaccinated. Which is really high. And significantly higher than the rest of the U.S. So I'm a bit angry at the rest of the U.S. <laughs> Because, are you freaking kidding me already? But also, the second problem being that my partner's not vaccinated yet, because Norway has been very slow on their vaccine rollout. Now, a good chunk of that isn't the government's fault. It's the fact that the U.S. went to the vaccine producers and said, Hey, look, we're taking all of your vaccines now. How about you sell it to us before we just nationalize it instead? <sighs> 
So a lot of the vaccines have been under, shall we say, market stresses, to borrow more capitalistic terminology. Uh, long story short, they had not been fulfilling orders to European countries because the U.S. keeps taking all the vaccines. At this point, there are so many vaccines going around that our vaccines are actually rotting and just expiring without being used because there's not enough people willing to be vaccinated at this point. There's more than enough vaccines for every person in the United States. <sighs> anyway, it means that the country of Norway is doing dumb things like delaying the rollout between the first and second shot. And while for some vaccines it's been proven that it actually increases the effectiveness if you spread it out, for others it doesn't, and or there are no studies whatsoever beyond six weeks, and it means that it's going to be longer before my partner is fully vaccinated. Which also means that it's going to be longer before I can see them again. Because the country of Norway is not going to let people in until Norway itself is more vaccinated. And I don't want to put my partner at risk. Which means I'm stuck. And then it gets worse. So the second thing that I've already mentioned is that I am currently not employed. And I'm going to... I've been starting my job hunt. The problem with this job hunt is that if I do accept a job, I'm not going to be able to take a whole bunch of time off. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to know, hey, look, when can I actually go to Norway? So I can try to plan my job around that. Like, either one, giving them a heads up and saying, hey, look, I'm not going to be available during these weeks. Go ahead and assume I'm unavailable and will take it as unpaid time off as a prerequisite of being hired, but I can't do that if I don't know about it in advance. And with my trip being further out, I can't give them that timeline, which means I can't take the time off. And now I'm genuinely thinking about maybe I shouldn't look for a job, which means I'm not going to have enough money to go on the trip instead. I mean, technically I do, but... Not at the rate I've been spending money with repairing my house, which, uh, sorry for the strange views, I'm trying to avoid getting other people in the shots. Um, my house, I have a request, I put in a request to get a quote for replacing my windows. The windows in the bottom part of my house are in really bad shape at this point. Uh, and I know that I'm going to need to replace them before I sell the house anyway. So I did. And I finally got a quote that wasn't utter trash. Um, give you an idea. I had quotes replacing the front set of, or the front, uh, yeah, front set of windows of my house at over 10,000 US dollars. Just those, not touching any other part of the windows of my house. Now I have a quote for all but two of the windows of my house, basically everything except for the ones that aren't as bad, for about 7,000 US dollars, which is a much better quote, but that's still $7,000 that I really don't want to spend on a house that I'm going to be selling. So little put off by that, and I'm still trying to make sure that I keep enough money in savings for the eventuality that I need to replace my roof. Because that is the one wild card that I have of my house that I don't know if it's in good condition or not. It was in good condition when I bought the house. The inspector had found a couple of minor problems and those had been repaired. But... Well... They need to be replaced every so often. And we can't find any evidence that the roof of my house has ever been replaced. My house is over 50 years old. Yeah. 50 year roofs aren't really a thing. 
So, so I've been trying to make sure that I have enough money in the event that that happens, which means that I don't have, yeah, you see the problem. And absolutely none of these things do I have any control over. But I can't stop worrying about them because they affect me personally. Hold on. It's trash pickup day, so there's a bunch of ambient noise around. Um, yeah, so. And all of that is compounded by the other stresses that I'm dealing with of the stupid mover problem. So, I'd rather not get into too much details on that because at this point it's starting to look like I might need to bring in a lawyer. Fun. I just want to be able to hug my partner again. I just want to be able to relax. I want to be able to plan. I want to be able to know when any of these things that I'm planning on happen so I can plan around the things so I can figure out what types of job, what type of work I can even do right now. I'm just in a lot of distress. Okay. I'm going to stop this recording now. Hopefully I'm going to do better and add on to this recording later on today, but this might be the last part. So, see you, Internet. I ain't seen... I forgot to turn on the hallway light before I started this this time. So you get Isun in poor lighting conditions. I mean, my camera actually has halfway decent low light. It's just, you know, it's still a phone. It's okay. See? Nothing bad. So yeah, most of this day I ended up wasted because I was too stressed out from dealing with the idiotic movers. Um, called multiple times, got hung up on the first time, the second time got told that the only person who can do any of this, because apparently there's only one for the organization, even though they had an office of what looked like at least a half dozen to a dozen people, um, was really busy and unavailable. <sighs> Never got a call back, so I'm calling yet again tomorrow morning. And now I'm no longer going to be able to give a week's notice. So it's great. <sighs> the problem is there's nothing I can do. All I'm trying to do is get my mom's things out of there. <sighs> they kind of have me over a barrel. <sighs> this is why I don't like South Florida. There are too many people there to rip you off. And that's what they're doing. They're ripping me off. I'm going to have to find a freaking lawyer, aren't I? It's okay, Zone. Oh, looks like his scene's gone. I'll see you tomorrow, Internet. Bye now.